Alrighty guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a clean with me and this is a restroom edition video. I My restroom needed to be clean and I want to bring you guys along on my process on how I clean my bathroom. Okay guys, as you guys can see my bathroom is a hot mess. There's stuff everywhere. Um, I haven't cleaned up in a few um, weeks um, and it's just a hot mess. The tub is dirty, the shower is dirty, the toilet area is dirty, and I do not like a dirty bathroom. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy nice and clean. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my little cleaning basket and then I'm going to remove all the items that don't need to be in my bathroom because Zara keeps bringing stuff in my bathroom and then I'm going to put up some stuff that should be in the cabinets and not on the counter. And then I did remove all of the dirty towels as well because um, I want to add some fresh clean towels to the bathroom and as you can see I'm just throwing things in the cabinets because I'm going to well. So removing all the wet, nasty tiles will give your bathroom a nice, fresh, clean feeling and smell. So the first thing I'm going to do is take everything off of the counter area so that I can start sanitizing using this disinfecting cleaner to clean out the sinks and the countertops because this is where all the germs are from brushing our teeth, washing our face, and things that Zara and Zoe just brings in. And I like this disinfectant because it's not super strong and I got this one from Aldi. So I usually start with the sinks first because they're the easiest to clean because this this marble countertop doesn't really like hold on to a lot of stuff really easily so they're very easy to clean and I like to use something that's very gentle so this sponge I usually just use the yellow part of the sponge anyways. So after I clean the sinks and wash, and wash them out I just put back the things that's supposed to go there. And I'm also taking the time to wipe down all of my like face things um, that's on the side of my vanity because I like to keep all of that nice and clean and sometimes things get dusty so you need to go ahead and just wipe it down to get all the dust off so you don't use that and get the dust on your face. So paper towels are always a go-to thing when I'm cleaning up. I use a lot of paper towels because um, I don't really like to use towels um, because I think paper towels are just easier to kind of pick up some of the dirt. The only towel I may use is a microfiber towel situation, but usually paper towels are my go-to things. I know it's kind of wasteful, but it's just easier to kind of wipe up things and it's very soft on the counters. So next I'm going to clean the mirror just using some Windex to clean the mirrors and getting them nice and sparkly. I'm super short so I always can't reach all the way to the top but thank god there's nothing up there anyways. And then I'm going to take some cleaning spray to clean off the cabinets because sometimes Zoe comes out here to brush her teeth and Zara brushes her teeth in here as well. So sometimes toothpaste get on there and then I take this pledge and it's for wood and I'm just going to wipe down the counters as uh, the cabinets as well. This is something I do every now and then just to make sure that they're sparkling so once I'm done with that I'm gonna go ahead and clean the tub Greg loves to take nice deep soaking baths but Greg doesn't like to clean the tub so the tub is always dirty after he comes in and take a nice soaking bath so I always have to clean it anyways so it usually stays pretty clean because I have to clean it throughout the week but I'm just gonna go ahead and deep clean it again um, because he just took another bath and it's pretty this tub is really really easy to clean it doesn't have any texture so nothing really sticks into grooves or anything and i like this little cup that i use to rinse Zara's hair when i wash it to kind of rinse around the tub because it's so big and i can't uh, reach everywhere and then here comes zara to help out not really and then i like to take some paper towels or a towel and just get all the water from around the tub because you don't want any sitting water that can cause mold or anything 
So I like to wipe the outside of the tub just as well as the inside of the tub just to keep it nice and clean. And then it's time for the shower. This is the most daunting part about cleaning this bathroom because the shower is usually a three product step for me. I use a disinfectant and then I use two different products to clean the glass because it's so hard to keep clean. But I also have to scrub the shower floor just because I like to, not because it's really dirty, but just if you're going to clean it, you might as well clean it right. And the shower doors are really hard to get clean, so I use a method of like three different products to try to get it as crystal clear as I possibly can. And here's where the microfiber towel really comes into handy because it's really gentle on the glass and it helps um, minimize any streaks. And I like to use this glass cleaner, which also helps make the glass super clear as well. So after I clean the shower, it's time to go ahead and get some things organized. So I'm going to go ahead and put some things away and rinse out things. And I'm going to go ahead and get ready to organize my bottom cabinets. Because as I noticed when I was chunking things in there earlier, they were pretty messy. And I usually like to stay very organized. But they were very organized when we first moved here. But as time went on, it was just kind of chaotic. So I decided to throw away any extra hair products and body products and move some things to a different drawer and get a bigger basket and also my feminine hygiene products like my pads and tampons I really wanted to make it more accessible so when I'm on my cycle it's easier for me to reach instead of to reach all the way in the back and then in this drawer it was very chaotic as well because I had wigs in there and I had extra face wash and toothpaste and just all kind of stuff that didn't need to be in that drawer so I was just kind of organizing that drawer and my bottom cabinets to just kind of get it really clean and decluttered because even though we've been here for now a year it's already too much stuff in there and stuff that i wasn't even using so sometimes it's good to just go ahead and declutter and get rid of some stuff So now that that is all finished and done, I wanted to add something special to the bathroom because we both like taking some really good soaking baths. So I bought these jars from Target and they were like $5 each or $6 each. And then I bought this also this like drink container and I wanted to add some bath bombs that I've been having around the house. So I wanted to be able to see my bath bombs and be able to just have access to them when I'm taking a bath. So I'm putting all the bath bombs that I have into this jar so that way they're not in the cabinet and I can actually use them because I sometimes forget I even have them until I get in the tub and pretty much it's too late for that one. And then in the next jar, the next jar I'm going to add my Epsom saw and then I'm going to add my body wash. So I have a variety of bath bombs. I have some little ones that look like uh, little meringue things. And then I have some Dr. Till bath bombs and just some I found um, at TJ Maxx. 
So for my Epsom salt, I love the Dr. Teal's and this is the coconut one. The, I think the coconut and shea butter is like my favorite scent, but this one smells just as great. So I'm gonna add that to the jar and I did buy some mini scoops to add into there so I can scoop some out. Just be careful because it is glass and I have a like towel area around my tub. So just be gentle with the glass. For this guy, I'm going to add my body wash um, or my bubble bath. We, I love to take bubble baths. I do not like to just be in plain water. Um, so I always add bubbles to my um, water. So I'm going to go ahead and add this Parker Tills and then mix it with another one. And the scent together is amazing. Um, so I'm going to add both of these guys to the jar and it filled it up just perfectly. Once you add it to the jar, go ahead and just place them where we're gonna put them. Since my jars are so big, I had to put them on the windowsill here in my bathroom. So I'm just gonna add the Epsom salt, the um, bath bombs, and then my two little plants that go on the side, and my um, bubble bath. So now I'm just gonna put things back on the counter where they belong our toothpicks and cotton swabs and ear cleaners and everything um, in my candles and now we're going to add some fresh clean towels in the bathroom so i'm adding something different i found this vanity impressions mira at TJ Maxx and I thought it was so perfect because sometimes I want to get up close to my face. So I'm adding this and it's a touch screen and it's super, super nice and it was very affordable. I think I paid about $30 for this mirror. So you can change the settings on this mirror. You can make it cool tone, warm tone. You can change how bright you want the lights to be and you can touch it on and off. I really love this mirror. It was really fun to play with and I've been using it so far just to kind of when I'm washing my face. So I'm just gonna add my little brush and face wash area. This is what I've been using. So this is the final look of our bathroom. It's fully clean. I swept, I vacuumed, I mopped, and I cleaned the toilet area off camera. But look how clean it is, guys. It's declutter. Um, it looks so much better. It feels so much better. My bottom cabinet has all of my toiletry things and I can just grab a pad and go. And even the side where all the hair stuff is, it's like no extra hair products. I love my bath station where I can just put a little bath bomb, some little Epsom salt if I wanted to. The tub is sparkling. And let's talk about this shower. It is so clean, so nice. I was so happy I was able to get all those water spots out and it looks so clean. You can see straight through it. And I even was able to scrub the floor. And the toilet area is very clean and nice as well, even though I didn't show you guys me cleaning that. Very simple, very elegant. And that's it guys, that's my bathroom clean with me video. Let me know if any tips that you guys use to clean your bathroom. Bye guys! Okay guys, since you guys are already here, don't forget to click and view some of my latest videos and don't forget to click and subscribe. See you guys, bye.